Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this chapter, we will review the processes that often occur within QuickBooks when dealing with a trust account. One type of trust account used by many legal professionals is an IOLTA or Interest on Lawyers trust account. Most lawyers use an IOLTA account to hold client funds separately from their own funds. An IOLTA account is an interest-bearing checking account. The interest earned from all IOLTA accounts within a state is pooled together to assist low-income individuals to afford legal aid. An IOLTA account is used in three main situations, first being when a lawyer receives funds from a client to perform legal services, second being when a lawyer receives funds from a settlement that must be paid to a client, third being when a lawyer receives funds or is otherwise holding property for a client that the lawyer has not yet earned or must return at a later date. A lawyer cannot hold their funds and the client's funds in the same account, so IOLTA accounts are used to separate these funds and hold smaller amounts of money from clients for a short span of time. An important note to make here is that if a lawyer intends to hold a large sum of money for a client or intends to hold the funds for an extended period of time, the lawyer should not place those funds into an IOLTA account, but should rather place the funds into an account to be held in trust for that particular client. Note that within QuickBooks, however, many of the same types of transactions will occur when dealing with a trust account held for a particular client and an IOLTA account. In this chapter, we will review many of the types of transactions that occur when dealing with trust accounts in a law firm. The process as shown here will allow you to concurrently track funds held in trust with the typical accounting funds for a common small law firm within a single QuickBooks company file. Note that if you have a trust account that contains a high volume of transactions along with a relatively low volume of transactions for the law firm, you should consider creating a completely separate company file to record your client's trust transactions. It is important to note that each state has its own rules of professional conduct regarding the handling of client trust funds. You should consult your own state's bar association or counsel to ensure that your setup is in compliance with the rules for your state. Failure to comply could result in penalties. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.